and welcome to the author's voice this is where bbp get to show off their wonderful authors who are part of the book brilliance publishing family and today we have got a new author andrea a smith who is about to launch her book fear less live more on the 3rd of december so welcome to the author's voice andrea Thank you so much, Brenda. I look so much forward to us launching together with Book Brilliance Publishing. I know, it's exciting, exciting days ahead. So tell us a little bit about who you are. I am Andrea Smith, a stress resilience coach. So with a psychological and medical background spanning 25 years, I enable you to feel happy, stress-free. Wonderful. And I tell you what, Andrea, there's no better time in history than to learn a little bit more about what it is to be happy and to be stress free. So tell us a little bit about your background and what got you to the point where you are writing this book. So I've been there, felt stressed and you know, realize that there's nothing quite out there like the book I've written. There's lots and lots out there, but nothing quite like what <coughs> I've written. Um, and I've worn the t-shirt many times of feeling really stressed, really feeling not great. But this experience with my medical and psychological background has, this expertise has given my clients a chance to find peace of mind find they feel stress-free so I decided to put in the book mm, absolutely now you know BBP is a publisher and we love story and something that's magical about your book is it's not just another book full of jargon it's not just another book um that um is given tips, of course it does, which is brilliant. But for me, what makes this book special is the way that you've woven your story throughout. So could, could you just give us a, a little pity history, a potty history even of what, where your story, what happened to you that made you feel you needed to go into uh, from a medical background into a more psychological background? So there's times in my life where I felt this intense fear of losing control, felt that anxiety, felt panicky, sometimes of bringing up two children by myself or feeling that anxiety about having, you know, not enough to cover my bills. So I felt if I put it all in the book and wove my story through it and give the readers you know, I call it the Andrea's Learning Alerts, tips and techniques of how they can overcome this, bounce back from their challenges, feel relaxed in, you know, and find ways to cope with their stress and anxiety. They will be able to, you know, be successful in their life, feel happier, feel calmer. Mm, yeah. So... <clears throat> It, it takes a lot to, I feel you've been very brave in Fear Less, Live More because you've allowed yourself to be vulnerable and share um, this, your story. Um, because sometimes, um, you know, women all around the world go through similar things, um, especially in a marriage breakup. But the views of different culture add extra pressure. How did that, um, exacerbate your anxiety and stress at the, the, the time when you found yourself as a single parent? The time when I was a single parent with two young children, one about four and a half, one eight, I felt that those waves of fear were coming at me at 90 miles an hour. I didn't know what to do. I tried reading different books. I tried finding things to cope. But the more I tried, the more anxious I felt. So with taking all that medical and psychological background that I have and adding it to the book, it just 
you know, giving my own experience and the experience that I had worked with clients for the last eight years, by adding them to the book, it gives my readers an experience of what they can do there and then to find themselves free from that fear that they feel. It, you know, while working in a busy hospital, it also gives you an insight of how my patients have struggled with stress and anxiety, but then go to pills and lots of medications and don't find the right way to come out of it. So by writing the book, I can help people. And that is my why. Mm, absolutely. And I, I, I know it's about the impact that you want to make, that you're using all that expertise, that knowledge, that training, the in-depth. Um, it's not a quick fix. Um, but everything that you have put in the book is... Um, they're tried and tested. They're based on medical research, on psychological research. Um, and, and that can give people a peace of mind. And uh, knowing that they've got an expert so that they can trust what they're being told and how they're doing it. But I, I really love um, how then you take your own story. And the thing is, this isn't just a book to read. You can, you're actually getting the reader to do things. Tell us a bit about that. So uh, what I do is first, I, I, I talk a little bit about what, what the, the subject, you know, in the 10 chapters, each chapter, one is, just take for example, one is losing control. And then they're able, uh, then I give a little bit, the reader a little bit of just of what that subject's about. And then I tell a little bit about my story. Then I encourage the reader to write in a journal their, their part of where they are at. Then I just talk a little bit about the philosophy behind what I'm saying, but also give examples woven in there of how some of my clients, but I've obscured their names, I just changed their names so that, you know, the reader can just find themselves, you know, connecting with these stories. And then I give a lot of tips and techniques. And then I summarize with Andrew's learning a lot so the reader can really see how they can use these tips, these techniques, these examples to change and make themselves happier. Hmm. Have you got something in your, your book that you could read as an example of what you've been saying? Um, absolutely, I can. Um, so just choosing with, uh, just, uh, just take for example, how the reader can, um, has found themselves with, they're struggling with their mind chatter. So in the book, I have a negative mind chatter record. So what they can do is they can, you know, I've given them an example of, you know, where, what their mind chatter is saying, what they can, uh, you know, how they can label this mind chatter and what this mind chatter is, you know, distorting what they believe in themselves. And then I'm just giving them an example about a positive um, thought they can have Hmm. And when they rate this positive thought, they can see it's much more powerful yeah. by making changes and through these changes and taking action and thinking differently, they can really have a positive impact. Yeah. Them. So could you, would you mind reading this out what you've written on page 116, the middle paragraph? Because I think that's a really great example of what you're talking about there, Andrea. Just give me one second. Um, in 116... Uh -huh. So when you experience a struggle, that paragraph? Yeah, it, it, they find themselves in the cycle. Yeah, of them if you could read that out, thanks. Yeah. You will feel the physical reaction in your body, such as heart palpitations, sweats, aching muscles, headaches, as well as they will avoid those common social situations they are at. Now, this physical response will undoubtedly lead to an experience of emotional one as well. Perhaps you can remember a time when you felt upset, scared, angry, frustrated, thought yourself as weak. These feelings intensify when you adopt the perception that people are judging you and assuming that they're looking down at you. These false impressions result in feeling confused, mental turmoil, and limiting beliefs about yourself. 
And, you know, I think that is so well written, Andrea, and it gets right to the point. It shows that depth of understanding that you have about that mind chatter, because the mind chatter is, for me, you know, um, as a, as a coach, um, is de you know, just as a person, the mind chatter gets in, in your way. But I love how you give people um, tools and techniques. So here you talk about reframing and, you know, you just need to look in the book. We do it all out for you. Andrea's done it all out for you, showing you exactly what that looks like. And then you can take some time out and do it. And I've just got to show you Andrea's learning alerts. How cool are those? And you'll find them at the end of every chapter in the book. So by the time you get through 10 chapters, you've probably got about 80, 80 little strategies. So this is really a book that draws the reader in. It creates empathy with you as the author. And um, it helps them to understand what's going on in their head, in their body. And most importantly, it, it shows the results that you're having with clients. And then, you know, what it is you're trying to do through this book. So what is, but it's not been, it's coming out the 3rd of December. So looking forward to that and we can put all the links below. But um, what is your hope and future? What have you done as a result of writing this book? As a result of writing this book, I have um, a ultimate, Fear Less, Live More transformation um, workshop that I'm going to run in the new year. But before that, I also have a six-week um, online mindful approach to happiness. Um, a six-week, just an online course where I'll run you through these strategies so that you can feel happier and healthier within your life. Absolutely. Mindfulness is a huge thing just now. And I know that that's in the book as well. We could talk so much about the book because there's so much in it. But we've just had a little um, a light touch of it today. So, Andrea, I wish you every success. I know at BBP here, um, it's about beyond the book. So the, the, the whole next phase of your journey is just about to start now in now that you've got your book, is using that to pivot and to springboard all the wonderful stuff that you want to bring to your clients. What would you like to say to people out there right now um, during this time where we've got lockdown, we're coming out, there's so much uncertainty around Christmas this year. What would you like to say to people who are suffering from stress and anxiety at this time? So what I want to tell people is that, you know, if you learn just one thing in a week or in a few days to help you to cope with your stress, you'll really find that it will build your confidence, it will build your courage, and you will be able to overcome and face new challenges that, you know, are coming at us every day these days. So thank you for watching. Thank you, Brenda Dempsey and Book Brilliance Publishing. Thank I'm you. I'm so excited for my launch next week on the 3rd of December. I'm, lo I'm looking forward to that as well, Andrea. So thank you very much for coming and talking and sharing part of your story and sharing what it means to be an author and the work that you're doing, which is it's so much needed at this time, Andrea. And I wish you every success with your book and with all the doors of opportunity that will be open to you because you are now a published author. So until the next time, this is Brenda saying, be brilliant. Much love. Until next time. Ta -da -ta -da. Bye.